live stream chat. So on live stream chat, I will be posting everything that we are currently watching. You can go in and check it out there. If you have any recommendations, there's a section on Discord called Speak to the Crew. Go ahead and just drop anything that you want me to take a look at in the reaction recommendation. And either myself or one of my mods will be taking a look at it just to make sure that it's like something I could uh, either either something I could react to on YouTube, not on YouTube, if I can get in trouble, yada yada, you know, just like, just, 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 just to sort of see what it is. Uh, for the most part, we're super lenient about everything, but we gotta start playing it a little bit safer now, alright, because we, we got into in trouble too many times with YouTube, and we're trying to, we're trying to make this a thing. <laughs> so thank you all so much, uh, let's get right into it, no more delay. Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Let's take a look at 15 of the scariest TikTok videos of the year. Number 1. TikTok user ChuckingCards87 is an avid card collector that loves to show off his collection on TikTok. From sports cards to Pokemon, he just can't get enough. But after something chilling was caught on his doorbell camera, he couldn't oh, it, resist it, posting it. It really feels like that's where the whole world is going right now. There's even a freaking, like, card... Card Shop Simulator. Let me know if y'all want me to play that. Uh, uh, probably after Spooky Season, right? But... Fine. A large ghostly orb flew into view before swooping down and sliding a package across the porch. This eerie glowing anomaly the looks to be a very solid shape with a clear intention of moving this box. As far as videos of orbs go, I've never seen one quite like this, where the orb actually interacts and moves objects around it. According to Chuck, yo, for real, this is like on a whole other level of orb. They normally just like little 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 I think this is like this is like a dead like a dead this is like one of those porch pirates that like goes and steals your Amazon packages but he like died and he doesn't know he's dead so he's still trying to get that bag. Side. He's like, what you got in there? I know you ordered a bad dragon. Jake runs a TikTok account dedicated to his two-year-old French bulldog named Yoda, and his page is filled with videos I'm like of Yoda candles. being absolutely adorable. I'm, I'm fully getting into the mood. All the lights are off, something out of the except for my ring light. I got. I'm cheating with the ring light, but that's because otherwise the freaking camera doesn't pick me up. Okay. His dad is a chiropractor in Wichita, Kansas, and late one night, the camera inside of his office managed to catch something incredibly chilling. The hell was that running around the corner? Oh the nah, bro, that was a no. Begins, dozens of orbs can that was a no. Floating through the room, but I don't know suddenly, about the orbs. A large white mass manifested into the that just looks like dust. Quickly traveled down the hallway. This strange anomaly drifted that through like the hall. That looks like dust to me, but 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 corner, what the frick is up with the no? And if we freeze the video and zoom in, the this looks back. orb almost looks like a face. Two dark eyes can clearly be seen, making the resemblance to a face hard to deny. Jake has yet to come up with a logical explanation for this. So what do you think? I think it's a no. Number three. On it's like an elf. Account, it's probably like an elf. Family, a video was posted that left many viewers like the elves that like fix the hands. shoes. Late one night, around three in the morning, the ring camera. You know the ones that pick shoes. You know the ones with the Managed to catch something bizarre. What's that red thing? Stop. That is as that is as CGI as it gets. No way. Oh come on, that was like so freaking on the left side of the shaped screen, out like the ghost like form seems to push the hammock before gliding across the yard. This oddly shaped smoky mass. Oddly shaped it looks like a freaking CGI go like two hands, the body, and the head, like you know what I'm saying? It looks like a skeleton prop. To right, disappearing behind the brick wall. And things manage to get even creepier when a disembodied voice can be heard saying, We're here. 
the man behind this account has no idea who this voice belongs to, as there definitely should not have been anyone in his backyard at 3 a.m. So was this a ghost, or did a neighbor just rip a fat vape cloud? <laughs> so the neighbors, yeah, the neighbors, yeah, the freaking neighbors been freaking hitting the vape bro like crazy. Carlos recorded a video of the beautiful scenery from a rooftop. They got that he blueberry, blue, blueberry, ras uh, blue raspberry, blue raspberry. Started pouring in. Oh gee, it's, it's freaking, off. it tastes so good. People who watched the video began to point out that it looked like someone. It's was cherry on flavored. The roof with him. That's a demon. Oh, you saw that demon? That's a demon. I saw the demon. As he panned the camera from right to left, a chilling face can be seen just a few yards away. Behind the concrete structure, this ghostly face peered at Carlos, going completely unnoticed. This unsettling figure appears to have long black hair and extremely pale skin. Carlos obviously didn't notice this figure while on the roof, but there's no denying that it noticed him. Number five. Lately, the entire internet has been in a frenzy. I don't know, Carlos. You go ahead to you go you go ahead to like tell the priest to, to come and eliminate that one. That one's a bit spooky. That one's a bit. Oh, well, you gonna have to call Ghostbusters hearing, on that one. People began to see strange things in the sky. TikTok user Eddie B80 is one of the many that managed to record the bizarre phenomena he saw in the clouds above. Oh, look, it's blowing smoke. What the hell is that? Ooh, yeah. a big old cloud in front. Oh, a big old circle on the front, look. Ah, uh, so that's an alien! A big old circle on the front? <laughs> <laughs> this dude, the way this, uh, the way, the oh. way this freaking dude is talking, I have to believe this is real. You see that big, you see that big that circle, you see that circle? <laughs> this is literally my reaction, actually, if I were to see something like this. So it's like, I, I have to believe this is real. It's a circle in front of it. It's a circle, it is. You are it right, you are like correct, sir. Like a big old circle. Oh, it's still, <laughs> it's still going out about it. Like a big ring? Yeah, we know what a circle is. A strange glowing object was seen floating through the sky. And as the video began, a ring of smoke appeared to come from this object. Eddie stared on in confusion as he struggled to explain what he was seeing. Is this glowing enough? As he struggled to explain what he's seeing. No, no, he, he see? explained it very well. It was a circle, you see. <laughs> to get dimmer as time went on. Although I can't say for sure that this was aliens, I sure hope it was. So yeah. I can finally find out if they actually dance like this. No I, I highly doubt they dance like that, first of all. Second of all, I really hope that they're that that they're not aliens, because we we are not we have only one planet. If they decide to destroy this one, it's like we're kind of screwed, don't you think? So it's like let's wait until let's let's not make contact until we have a little bit more planets under our belt, you know? A little bit of insurance in case, you know? In case, in case. Speaking think of Warhammer, you never know, you never know. Another we need a couple of planets, you know, just in case something go bad happens to this one. This one go boom, it's like oh, okay. A girl named we need Mars. Received a motion detected notification from a ring camera. Assuming it was a passing car, or simply someone walking by, she was in no rush to check the footage. But when she eventually did, she saw something chilling. The freak? So just standing on its roof? That was a fairy. On the roof of the house, a tall white figure can be seen. This oddly shaped being stood completely still, then suddenly ascended into the sky and flew off into the distance, leaving behind an eerie white ghostly trail. Well, that was Owl Man. In, there's not enough detail for me to come up with a guess. I as think that was Owl Man. Is. So let me know what you think. Oh no, I think it was Owl Man. A woman you think that was Owl Man? Named Anne only has a handful of posts on her account, and one of these posts is of a chilling experience she recently had. One night in July, Dollar General was closed for the evening, but late into the night, the alarm inside was triggered and began to go off. As police arrived on the scene, they found all the doors to be locked, and no one was in the store. But when they reviewed the security camera footage from inside, this is what they saw. 
So this, this, these are actually police having to investigate this. That's what this is. What like, I personally feel like adds a little bit of legitimacy to this. Alright, now that note's fine. Alright, now. Rewind it, I'm gonna do it again. I'll do it again. See it? At the end of one of the I lines, saw it. a dark figure can be seen walking by. This shadowy being moved from right to left and looks to be a solid black human shape. Anne instantly got chills watching this footage, and she was left feeling uneasy. So who or what could this have possibly been? Number 8 According to TikTok user Abel3E, a friend of his recorded I got a video two candles going, should I go for a third one? Describe as paranormal. Around 4 in the morning, it's starting to get spooky in here. need to check the security camera he has facing his backyard. Oh yeah, and the spooky levels are going are, are rising. Just across the, the fence, spooky levels are indeed rising. He's always a weird feeling being back there. Well, as he watched the camera's live feed, he was shocked to see this. Like a small ghostly child walked along the fence on the side of the abandoned house. This eerie white figure looks to be no nothing was walking like from the left either, huh? As it scurried from left to right. Now, because the home on that side of the fence is abandoned, and the fact that this was recorded at 4 a.m. makes it very unlikely that this was oh, at 4 a.m. walking around. But if it's not, then who? Unless it's like a kid sneaking off. Or what was outside in the dark at four in the morning? Number nine. All right, that one wasn't too crazy. I like that one a lot. Account, nothing out of the ordinary has ever been posted. The woman behind this account is a loving wife and mom that takes pride in showing off her family. Well, less than a year ago, this family moved into a new house, and all was going well until just recently when she noticed something in the house that made her stomach drop. Moving I'm going for the third candle. And yes, my fan is on. That's why you see it blowing, but what the hell? The heck is that? Why is it wrinkling like that? Somebody's pushing it. Yeah, that feels like something. No, that looks like something's like pushing through. <laughs> Rave woman calling up there. Hey, tomorrow we need while laying in bed, she, she is brave. What looked like she is brave behind dude. the curtain. She stared on in disbelief as this unnerving movement continued. And although she managed to stay calm, these eerie fingers poking through the curtain would have instantly sent me running. But after <laughs> she mustered up the courage to she take walked the up look, on it. no one could be found behind the curtain. Well, the very next day, she posted a quick update about the strange events that followed. Hey guys. I just wanted to do a little follow-up to the video of the creepy curtains. Um, not that anything else has happened, because it's the first and only thing that's ever happened here. But, um, yeah. So, it could all just be coincidence. I don't know. Probably just coincidence. Um, since I took that video... It's pretty creepy, though, coincidence or not. has not held a charge has not even made it to 100%. I've Her charged phone? it overnight. I have just charged it for three hours while I was laying down. And um, I woke up about 10 minutes ago. It was 76% after three hours. It's already down to 73%. And I've not been using it other than to record this video. Um, I drop calls all of a sudden. Uh, the ghost is messing is with the Wi-Fi. Literally the next day after I took the video and started doing this, as well as I got in my car the next day to go to work. He's using all my data. my battery died. I had 10 car. gigabytes. Now again, could be a Just watch it use, it uses like eight gigabytes just on Netflix. I think, and it's been two years, I think. Um, he leaves the YouTube video playing like when, after he falls asleep, so all the, all the gigabits get used. 
sure that it was the very next day. Um, I had to get a new battery for it. Um, so I'm not understanding why these two batteries are not holding a charge or, or, or working. So could something paranormal be draining the battery from her phone and car? Or is this all just a coincidence? You decide. Number 10. I mean, I don't know about the, the battery stuff, but, that, that, but that's a spooky one. Five TikTok account found herself in a terrifying situation. Back in 2020, I got three candles going Gavin now. and her fiance moved it's into super a spooky small in here. apartment above an old house. Almost immediately after getting settled in, they began to notice strange things happening inside. Ooh, On an almost daily basis, they would hear weird sounds, the lights would flicker, and objects would move on their own right in front of them. But nothing freaked them out Oh yeah, they shouldn't be doing that. They would hear voices coming from the other side of their bedroom door. Devin began recording this activity, and what she caught on video is truly terrifying. Um, hey guys, it's uh, 12, 12 o'clock in the morning, and I heard some weird noises. Jesus Christ, oh my God. After hearing weird noises, 12 o'clock in the morning, began moving on their own. She kept her phone by her side, ready to record, and later that night... I'm sorry, forget the ghost for a second. What do you mean 12 o'clock in the morning? Like, as in, like... Like, midnight or midday? Like, what do you mean? Like, how, how, how can you how can you 12 at, at morning? You can't 12 at morning. That's not a thing. This eerie activity continued. 12 is always at the... At the... So I just got up uh, to turn the light on. And, um, there's still... Okay, and... Oh, yeah, okay. It's... Um, see, it's trying to spell it out to you, too. Happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. In the days that followed, things continued to get weirder, and she noticed that most of this activity happens in the kitchen. Hi guys, um, I had just gotten up to uh, show everybody that my fan uh, is just a regular oscillating fan. It's not anything that would be able to move a ceramic cup. 12.30 a.m. Okay, that's what she meant. As you can see now, um, and then... Do you consider that? Well, I guess, I guess that would still be, but that's nighttime. That's sleepy time. I got, that's sleepy. Morning is, is like, I don't know. Wait, 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 would it be morning as soon as 12 hits, or would it be morning, like, what, after 6? I don't know. A.M.? I started hearing some noises, so I was going to... Someone explain that to me. Record. The ghost is also frustrated about it. What? What happened? Okay, so you can see a lot of the activity is centered most, mostly. Yeah, see, uh, this time it's scary because the activity is by the by the um, knife. I don't like the ghost touching the knives like um, that. I'll show you guys the garage sometime. It's directly below the kitchen, but um, yeah, a lot of weird stuff happens down there too. From a Taco Bell bag to a heavy knife block, the entity in her home looks the to be desperately so trying to get her attention. With many viewers curious about the haunting she was experiencing, one person suggested trying the Reality Ripple filter, which supposedly reveals any spirits that are in the room with you. But as she tried- As we just saw with that chair, that was definitely a ghost, apparently. <laughs> it uh, works 100% of the time. 50% of the time. <laughs> This filter, she captured more than she expected. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, that's just okay. That's just how it is. Oh yeah. man, no, that was a ghost. That was a ghost. That was like that was a ghost. That, that was that was that shaman ghost. Paper towel over in the water bottle. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Are we in the chair then? No, it's your shadow. Is that what I'm supposed to see? No, it was it was your your shadow. Hello. Oh, okay. As she panned the camera around the room, a chilling disembodied voice was caught. 
sounding like it said over here. Maybe this spirit is that what it said? Tell her where to point the filter. Luckily for Devin, she no longer lives in this apartment and hasn't. To be fair, if, if, if we're starting to move into the age of like. We know about ghosts, and we don't even try to capture ghosts on cameras. Do you think modern modern day ghosts will start trying to like get the kid get on camera? You know what I mean? Noticed any other activity around her? Number eleven. On the they better like they make it make it easier for us. Friends explore interesting places in China, from bizarre food markets Ooh, to abandoned yummy. buildings. I'm hungry These now. two explorers are willing to venture into the unknown for their viewers' entertainment. During one of their explorations, they set their sights on a massive abandoned office building. After finding a way inside, the two began exploring the endless hallways. But as they ventured deeper into this forgotten building, they came across something chilling. Oh, I think this is an old one, but it's such a good one. I don't know what's up with this music though. Right there, right there, right there. You saw someone sitting in that chair? What the? As they walked past a room to their left, a dark figure can be seen sitting in a chair. But as they did a double take, this figure was now gone. This eerie black being looked to be a solid black silhouette that was undeniably there. And just how quickly it managed to disappear leads me to believe that this was not a living person. But if it wasn't, then maybe a ghost was just trying to play hide and seek. Number 12. That's pretty dope. TikTok I like that one a lot. Sorrow is a paranormal enthusiast. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible that, 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 that it was, like, faked, but that one's pretty good. That was pretty good. ...that often sets out to investigate cemeteries alone. Well, after doing countless investigations in these graveyards, strange things began to happen in his house. His first thought was that something dark must have followed him home. Bro, ain't that just the most annoying thing, bro? I've been going to graveyards all the time and doing all kinds of, like, creepy, like, ghosty stuff and, like, demon summons and stuff, and yet they never try to hunt me, and I've been, I've been, I've been waiting, bro. I'm like Harry Potter. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for my Hagrid to show up and be like, ooh, From one I'm a ghost and I'm haunting you. And now he often hears the sound of footsteps that seem to come from nowhere. And one day just recently, he began to hear these disembodied footsteps coming from his basement. And this is what he managed to catch on video. Okay, TikTok. So... Oh, well, let's go. Let me see this basement. First of all, if I if, if I ever get a... a, a which is it, it, very rare here in California uh, due to, you know, uh, uh, earthquakes... But we, we, so we don't really have basements, but if I ever get a place with a basement, I'm gonna trick that basement out, bro! Power is out. At the moment, in the basement, I swear, <laughs> I keep hearing someone. Okay! Z Z Z uh, what? Bon and Dada are so not, so angry with Walk. you. I don't know exactly what it is. Well, there was somebody hanging out there. It's kind of creepy. Why did Bonnie and Anna are uptight good. today? But the uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out, which is very strange. I'm not sure what that noise was, but no one's there uh, anymore. I'm alone right now, so <sighs> we'll see. I guess look out back. No, nothing back there. I don't know. There's been a lot of strange things happening. Bro, had a whole other house down here in his basement. What? So, I don't know. Maybe some tips, advice would help out. I can't really see anything, but uh, there's no one in here. Nice. Really can't see anything here. Just like, come on. Oh, it does. Nothing in there. 
Bro, look how spacious this place is. What the frick? But as he quickly passed, bro, his basement is bigger than my whole freaking house. What is this? Bathroom. A dark figure can be seen standing in the bathtub. Yeah, he in the jacuzzi. This figure appeared to be staring at the wall. We even got a jacuzzi in this freaking basement. What the frick? Just moments later, as he once again aimed the camera into the bathroom, this figure was now gone. People in the comments were quick to point this out, and soon after, Bleak Sorrow posted yet another unsettling experience. Okay. Oh, there's a follow-up! I'll show you guys this basement. And I don't know, I don't think I've seen the follow-up. Creepy stuff that's been happening here. This is the bathroom I passed earlier. Where there was some oh, much shadow better, figure standing. Much better, supposedly. much better quality video this I've time around. It. It's creepy. That's creepy, but Anyway, there is nothing in here to make a shadow stand at all in this bathtub. I have a, that's to the pipes outside. Bathtub, shower, have a window right here. And, oh, hell uh, no! What the, what was that? Okay, so here's the thing. This house has been creeping me out for the longest time already. And we haven't lived here, but maybe, I don't know, two years. It's just, <laughs> I swear to God, I don't like it. Uh, I mean, if there's anyone that can be having this thing over here, I guarantee it. I don't know how to, I mean, <laughs> I'm posting this directly from TikTok. I have a two-year-old son upstairs. You would have heard these doors open, surely. Nobody on this side. You can see my... Big butt standing on this side so no one can get out. Alright, the hand on the I'm freaking gonna... glass was a trip, dude! Nothing in here. It's double doored. Well, look how many closets! Something is up with this place. Let me try it's again. so spacious! Let's see, we'll go. Oh, y'all! <laughs> but something He's is trying going to get on. it to happen again. Um, I'm gonna keep doing the paranormal investigations, but I feel like here soon they might start being at my own house, which is kind of creepy, but I'll keep you guys updated. While showing off the bathroom from his previous video, he panned the camera to the left, revealing an eerie hand pressed against the glass. This small hand quickly pulled away, and as he darted out of the bathroom, there was no one there. He then made his way from room to room to show that he truly was the only person in the basement. But if so, then who did this creepy ass hand belong to? Bleak sorrow. That's has freaking to awesome, dude. To the bizarre I haven't. I don't think basement, I have seen the freaking. Just continue to get weirder. There's still more. I what the, the frick? Uh, my fiance has been hearing some noise. Listen, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I I get it. The ghost is creepy. I freaking hate that. Right? That's that's terrifying. Uh, but like, good lord, look at how big this thing, look at, you saw how many closets he has? And they're spacious, spacious closet, like, like, they look ugly because he hasn't, like, made them look nice, but like, but I wouldn't mind the ghost, like, uh, like, I'll let the ghost rent out the place with me. Let me get this house. Down here. This is nice. Running. Actually, this door's been moving, so it's been kind of creepy. I'm really not sure. I'd get rid of this green. Forward. I don't like this um, green. This, this is a fugly green. A lot of you guys want to know why I don't have electric. I do have electric down here. We just had the power off in this main room because it was getting remodeled. We still have the breakers on for the laundry room and for the bathroom. And you went with that green? Now it still has. Bro, I would have went with like a blue. Like a blue, like ghost. That's probably why the ghost is messing with you because they don't like the remodeling. Water. Not like a like yellow, a yellow would like two, bring bring two. out like you know it would make it would but brighten yeah, up the place. It actually has a nice, especially because it's a right basement. Right. You know, you're that not gonna get a lot of sunlight. The light up here that also works, so that's awesome. Okay, it, 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 it's you know, it's 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 falling on me now. It's starting to grow on me. It's like a mint. It's like a, it's more like a mint green. Actually, you know, that's my uh, that's water running. What that is. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, we're not, we're not with that right now. We'll just leave those on, open. I mean, um, see, even with the lights on, guys, it's still. <laughs> He's trying to catch the ghost. He's trying to like look quickly away. I don't know where anyone. 
would be hiding, not behind the door. I think the water turned on again, but that could be upstairs. Um, man, I don't want to go in there again. <laughs> he said that's where the that's where the oh, shadow demon guys was. See if there's. Oh God. Is the sink running? The sink is running, isn't it? That is the water. That is the water. Okay, I mean, I mean, to be fair, this could easily be somebody running around behind him doing the, the sneakies. Okay. So that's, uh, not good. There is absolutely nobody in here. So I, uh... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I would find it difficult to believe somebody's able to, like... I want to move. This is freaky. I mean, I'm practically shaking, guys. It's just... Okay. I want to see it happen in front of me now. Some of the cabinets are closed. Yet now, what, oh, see, I want to see it happen in front of me, not ah. just like while he's in the other room. No, I'm just about to, uh, hold on, hold on a second. No, okay, those left shelves, um, wait a minute. No, there's absolutely nobody in here. At all. Yeah, I I, I, I want to see I want to see it happen in front of me. This feel this feels like it could potentially still be somebody not sure how to running around behind him in the, in the other room doing himself. the stuff, setting it up, you know. At all. Looks like the light is now off in the bathroom. Clearly, from the things happening in his basement. Like, I'll give you some I'll give you some credit for the first two. His attention. This third one, though, it could, it would, like, you know, I'm, I, just saying, it feels, it feels like, it feels like somebody could have been doing that. girl named Jalen, there's one memory that she'd like to forget. One night in 2019, around 10 p.m., Jalen was on the boardwalk with her best friend Scarlett. I've seen the those videos where they freaking open right in front of them. Was shut down for the night. But as they stood on the dimly lit boardwalk, one of the nearby rides began to move on its own. Jalen quickly began recording and managed to catch something terrifying. Okay, but the boardwalk closed like half an hour ago. This is scary. What the f okay, I'm really mad at this. There's no one's on there. Is there? Wait. Okay, I totally saw someone in the camera, but I didn't see them. As the ride descended down, a dark figure can be seen in the seat facing Jalen. But this figure eerily vanished right before their eyes. If we zoom in, we can what clearly see a pale face and dark shoulders that quickly disappeared as the just starts to like imp down. implode upon it itself, what doesn't they it? Just Jalen and Scarlett said, F this. And it looks like a person just board deflating. Board. It's, what the Oof. freak was that? A woman named Becca from the Exploring with Becca. And then she said, and she, and she said that it was like, not like, like she couldn't see it IRL, but on the camera she could. That's freaking creepy. Account has had quite a few encounters with the paranormal throughout her life. Ever since she was a child, she's felt as if something dark was lingering around her. And no matter where her and her family would go, this presence always seemed to follow. Well, now that Becca's all grown up and in a house of her own, she can't seem to shake the feeling that something is in the house. With cameras set up around her home, Becca was shocked when she discovered this recording on her kitchen camera. It's a cat! Meow! That's spooky. from somewhere in the room. And after listening to it multiple times, I believe it's saying it's time to go. Not long after this video was recorded. It's time to go. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I heard it. It's time to go. Something else was caught on this camera. <sighs> Thank you. 
camera got smacked? Something appeared to move the camera to the side. And with no one around at the time, Becca has no explanation for this movement. Well, more recently, one of her cameras managed to catch yet another chilling voice. At 3 a.m., a loud crashing sound came from the basement. And as Becca went to investigate, her camera caught this. Say help me? What sounds like the same voice from earlier appears to be saying, help me. Yeah, okay, that's what I heard. Becca did not hear this voice at the time, but after reviewing this footage, her stomach dropped at this undeniable EVP. Number 15. This next video. That one was simple. That one was short and simple. I like that one. That one was good. It was posted by TikTok user Jose Castillo. From just a glance at Jose's profile, it's not hard to tell what his favorite hobby is. He often sets out on mountain biking trails with friends with a GoPro strapped to his chest. Well, one night while on a trail surrounded by darkness, his camera caught something downright unnerving. <laughs> Well, the winding a trail, the light on his chest illuminated a terrifying being nearby. Directly in front of Jose, this ghostly apparition stood completely still, simply watching as he rode by. And if we take a closer look, we can see a chilling face under a white ghost. That is veil. horrifying. Besides being out of breath within the first 30 seconds, this is yet another reason why I will never mountain bike at night. Or during the day. Yeah, who mountain bikes? Ever. Make sure to follow That's me on nerds, Instagram. That's for nerds, bro. Stay inside. Nature's scary. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. Freaking phenomenal, my dudes. I already shared the clip on the Discord. Please go drop them a like or drop them a sub. Let's watch another one, then you. Thanks for hanging out. Like or dislike, comment and subscribe and become a monogachi today. I live stream all day, Monday through Friday, so go say hi. That's all for now, monos. Goodbye and thanks for swinging by. Salud.